Dre, uh, Dre, last year, y'all, y'all, uh, when you when you guys lost to the Lakers last year, it was like we never felt that before. Like you know, even this early, what does this feel like? Um, just like we need to go win the game. Uh, you know, I don't really. I don't know. <laughs> just feel like we need to go win, but it's exciting. Uh, you know, you know, it's do or die. Probably feels a little more NCAA tournament-ish. Uh, kind of give you that feel. But yeah, you know, we just got to go win. What do you think about this matchup? And, and what do you kind of think are the keys against a Kings team that has changed a little since the last playoffs? Uh, they've definitely changed a little bit. Um, you know, we I think we know this team pretty well, though, for the most part. Uh, nobody's changing that much unless you just completely change the roster. And the mainstays in their roster are still there. Uh, so they're going to run a lot of things through Sabonis. Uh, obviously, the, everything starts with the head of the snake, De'Aaron. Um, and everybody else kind of gets theirs off those two guys. Uh, you know, they're very much so a pattern team. Like, they, they got their things that they want to get to. Uh, and so, you know, going into the game and understanding that, uh, what, you know, the things that we'll be trying to take away and not let them get to those patterns. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, we, we know them well. They know us well. So, so it won't be no surprises. Following up on that, the past – times you guys have played them either this season or even last season it's much with the same group but trace has really emerged as a, as a key contributor for you guys at, at center the past couple months he wasn't a key part of, of those game plans how do you see him kind of helping defend a guy like sabonis um in this uh well you know um <clears throat> trace has a great length he's very athletic he affects a lot of shots at the rim uh you know sabonis does all of his damage pretty much within 10, 10 to 15 feet. Uh, obviously, he can step out and shoot the ball, but a lot of his damage from a scoring perspective, obviously, he you know gets everyone involved. Um, you know, he's, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he probably leads the team in assists. Um, and so he, you know, he gets everyone. But when it comes to scoring, it's a lot of it is around the rim. You know, and Trace uh, can affect some of those shots if. You know, but it starts with positioning, though. Uh, you know, Sabonis is great at creating angles, you know, so got to make sure you're good uh, with your positioning uh, against a guy like that. You know, he has all the step-throughs and jump hooks and double step-throughs that you can imagine. His footwork is great. So that would be a tough challenge. He's always a tough challenge. Uh, but like I say, you know, Trace got to use what he has in his strengths, which is his athleticism and his length. Draymond, it was kind of a joke at the beginning of the season how many times you saw you guys saw Sacramento. And then to know that they're your first game in this one, you, you kind of just said they know you, you know them. But as the more veteran team, does this short travel and knowing this team play in your hand at all, does it have any effect? Uh, I mean, I think the travel definitely helps me that it's an hour away, it's a quick bus ride down. Um, that helps. Uh, us knowing them helps, but on the flip side, they know us at well, and that hurts, you know. So, um, you know, overall, at the end of the day, coaches are going to put a game plan together. Uh, their coaches will put a great, great game plan together. Our coaches will put a great game plan together. But then you got to go out there and play, you know. And and you know, a lot of times you get in a in a series, and like at a certain point in the series, it's like, all right, you know me, I know you. Like, who gonna make the small, the little plays to win? Uh, who's gonna come up with the 50-50 balls to win the game? Because you know everything I'm running, I know everything you're running, and I feel like that's what this. It's obviously, not a seven-game series, but I feel like that's what this game gonna come down to. Who's gonna make the necessary plays to win the game? You, obviously, the schedule set. There's nothing you can do about it now. But the fact that it could be on the road Tuesday, if you win on the road Friday, if you win on the road, uh, what do you think about that? You know, it sounds pretty daunting, but uh, how are you approaching just that set of circumstances? Our last eight weeks has prepared us tremendously for that. Um, we've been on the road pretty much the last month and a half, two months, uh, quite a bit. Uh, we fared pretty well on the road all year, you know, so know we're capable of going to win some road games. Uh, and when this team's back is against the wall, I like how the group shows up. So, um, you know, it's not 
ideal, uh, but it is what it is, and that's what we're faced with, and we want to keep playing for um, much longer into this season, so just got to go get it done. Jeremiah, in the last year or two, as the Kings have gotten better, there's been more talk about, you know, a Northern California rivalry, quote unquote. And when you play a seven game playoff series, that obviously adds to it. I'm just curious if you could speak to the what the energy, what the atmosphere is like. I mean, you guys played a very memorable game seven. Steph drops 50 this year. They overcame a big deficit. What what what's sort of the electricity like when you guys play the Kings the last few games? Uh, it's always a playoff type game. Like you feel that you go into um, into their arena, their fans want to light the beam and see us lose and beat the crap out of us. And they come in here, we want, we want to beat the crap out of them. A um, lot of familiarity amongst the two organizations, even beyond just us going out and playing in the money games that we've played against each other over the past couple of years. Uh, you know, Mike, Vivek, um, <clears throat> LB, like there's a ton of familiarity amongst the organizations. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, it kind of has brewed into that. Uh, but, you know, for us, it's another game you gotta, that we have to go win. It's not just another game in the sense of like, oh, it's just any other game. It's another game that we have to go win, and we got to go get it done.